Thanks for joining us here at Rockwell Automation. Today we'll see how simple it is to install auxiliary contacts used with our Bulletin 140G molded case circuit breaker. For this demonstration we'll be using a 140G H-frame, but the process is the same for the J-frame breaker. As always, safety is a priority. To prevent electrical shock, make sure to disconnect from any power source before installing or servicing the product. Note that the breaker should always be installed in a suitable enclosure and in an environment free from contaminants. If the breaker is not in the trip position, depress the trip button. This will allow us to begin the process. First remove the phase barriers from the top of the unit, then remove the machine screws holding the face plate on the breaker, also found at the top of the unit. Now simply remove the face plate by firmly lifting and sliding the cover toward the top of the breaker. Set the screws and face plate off to the side so that we can reinstall them in a few moments. If your breaker includes pr plugs protecting the slots, you can remove and dispose of those you will be replacing with an auxiliary contact. Notice there are markings above the auxiliary slots. It is important that the function of your contacts is compatible with the markings on the slots. The contact function is defined by the markings on the side as well as the numbering on the contact leads. Next insert the auxiliary contacts into the appropriate slot, pressing firmly to ensure full engagement. Now run the wires out to the side. You'll find a small plastic tab among the parts kit you receive with your breaker. Slide that over the wires creating a channel for the auxiliary contact wires to follow. Now we can reinstall the faceplate tighten down the screws and reinsert the phase barriers. You've now successfully added auxiliary contacts to your breaker. If you have any additional questions, please go to ab.com or contact your local distributor. Thanks again for joining me today at Rockwell Automation.